And it's 9 p.m. over here now in Spain and high time for a new life. And the question I will answer today is a question that comes from Jessica. She is in Edinburgh and she asked me, what is the best point for a tickle in the throat? Potential cold coming. Cold coming. So, first of all, of course, you need to do the standard points. Standard points, doing them and repeating them every two days. That's one thing you don't want to forget because you want to build up that immune system again. And on the other hand, if you already have the symptoms of a cold, you want to do the specific points of a common cold. Okay? Now, for the tickle that she has in her throat, she has various options. First of all, what I would do is I would torch locally where, where you feel the tickle coming just to put that a bit to sleep, okay? It's going to lower that tickle. Um, if I get a tickle, I, I have no, not uh, received any more information, but if I have a tickle, for me, it's like, <coughs> I would like to start coughing. Well, I haven't had that in many years, so maybe I'm, I'm wrong here. But anyways, that's the idea that I get, okay? So I would touch locally to relieve that itching, to relieve the pain, also to relieve inflammation if there would be any inflammation. But I would do standard points. I would do common cold points. And I would touch locally two, three times a day to relieve that itching of that tickling, let's call it this way. But today, certainly, I would also do the think points, because maybe it isn't a common cold starting. Maybe it's something else. And by doing the think points, I want, it's, it's okay to do them once at the beginning when you don't really know what's going on. And I understand it's Saturday, it's Saturday afternoon, it's Saturday night even right here. So uh, if, you do, if your uh, doctor um, is not working right now, this is not an emergency. So it's okay just for today for the weekend to get over the weekend so that on Monday if you need to go to the doctor you can go to the doctor to pass this weekend do today the think points okay they will give energy to every meridian well the 12 major meridians let's uh, there are more meridians than that but there are 12 major meridians so it will give energy to the 12 major meridians which is always welcome but then uh, do standard points and also do the points of what the doctor on Monday will diagnose. Okay, so photonic therapy is to be used post-diagnostically. Photonic therapy is not to say, oh, you know what? I have this. Let me take the torch. I will arrange it with a torch. And no, we do not replace the help of your primary health care. Okay. So uh, that's going to be it for right now. But remember, tomorrow at my time, 1 p.m., which is really early in America, but still Dr. Terry Wood will be there. It will be 6 a.m. for him. And it will be 10 p.m. for Robert Claren and Trevor Rosencroft in Australia. But tomorrow we will have our, for, uh, our uh, the fourth part of the live interview. And that fourth part of the live interview is going to handle from 2009 till the death of Dr. Brian McLaren. And a lot has happened in those seven years. So I would say make sure you have a look at the episodes that came uh, before, episode one, two, and three. Tomorrow we will have episode four of the live interview with Dr. Uh, yeah, with Dr. Terry Wood, Trevor Rosencroft, and Rob McLaren. See you then. Bye-bye. Good night. Have a great weekend.